Hello guys and welcome back to another video from my YouTube channel that is Biology at your fingertips and today we are learning a very important topic that is ethylene and all the functions of ethylene via a very simple trick so firstly we have to understand ethylene that what is ethylene? Ethylene is included in a group of plant hormones which is very important and it is the only gaseous hormone this form a very important question in some medical entrances that which of the following is a gaseous hormone and the answer should be ethylene now some points about ethylene that it stimulates the transverse growth it stimulates the transverse growth but it retards the longitudinal growth So, it stimulates the transverse growth and it retards the longitudinal growth. Now, what are the different functions of ethylene? We can understand all those functions via a very simple trick and the trick is add some raw peanut butter on bread which is a very simple English sentence and it is sensible to add some raw peanut butter on bread. I have marked on with red marker with a cross because it is not included in this trick. It is just present here to make the sentence sensible add some raw peanut butter on bread so what does this trick means add simply means abscission which is promoted by ethylene some where s means senescence which is the growing old of plant parts so, abscission and senescence are both increased by the action of some plant hormones and those hormones are ethylenes. So, add some raw peanut butter on bread. Add simply means abscission which is increased. S means senescence which is also increased. Raw means ripening. So, this is also known as the fruit ripening hormone. So, the ripening of fruit is done by ethylene or ethylene is simply responsible for the ripening of fruits. The increase, there is increase in respiration rate of some fruit during ripening. These kind of fruits are climacteric fruits. Climacteric. So, R means ripening of fruits via which there is increase in respiration rate of some plants and therefore these are climacteric fruits. Peanut as the name indicates peanut therefore it helps in initiation of germination of peanut seeds. The initiation of germination of peanut seeds is done via ethylene. After that butter where the first and last, some last letters are B and R, B, R, E, that is break. Butter simply means break and bread has two capital letters that are B and D which simply means buds dormancy. B means bud and D means dormancy. It means it breaks the buds dormancy, breaks buds dormancy. So, dormancy is the resting stage of a particular seed when it is not in active position. So, ethylene is a group of gaseous hormones. It stimulates the transverse growth but it retards the longitudinal growth of a particular plant part. And the trick to learn all the functions of ethylene are add some raw peanut butter on bread which simply means abscission is increased, S means senescence is increased, raw means ripening of fruits is increased, peanut means initiation of germination of peanut seeds. Butter simply means B E R that is break where B E R in some other order that means break B D simply means but dormancy it means the ethylene is responsible for the breaking of dormancy of a particular bud so this is all about the ethylene hormone as well as its function so I think that this trick is going to help you a lot in your examination thank you so much guys for watching this video if you really like this video then hit like button and if you are new then please subscribe to my channel Thank you so much again for watching this video.